Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Ace Combat 7. I'm Nye, I should be asleep. But we have the opportunity to take this thing out. Oh, this is where it's starting me. Oh, crap. Didn't realize that was a thing. Okay. We, we're we're going to do this. This is going to happen. are so many goddamn missiles flying around right now. I need reloads. Thank you. Getting the hang of this, he says. Most laser cannon destroyed. That drops the arsenal birds to that level. The main propeller is moving again. Just how hard is that thing? It's down to destroying the Rictana's base. Say what? If we destroy the docking module, it's the plane of the break off of the arsenal bird. Not only the Rictana base bird, but we'll fly it on fire and we can cut that bird. So, uh, it sounds like it's time for me to go do a thing. Yeah, but our guy's more than just an experienced pilot. Trigger, let's do this. Is he really that good of a pilot? I bet on it. Besides, if he thought it was impossible, he wouldn't have said anything. Where is he? Where is it? Where is it? Ha 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 ha! Okay. So what do I need to do next? Oh shit. Okay. We lost tabloid. Got it. Oh my god. There's nothing left of this thing. We did it. We did it. That's an important thing. <laughs> we did it. This is depressing. All urgent focus around the space elevator. If you surrender now, we will not attack. 
Yeah, let's just stop this bullshit. Is it over? Oh, please don't jump off. That sounds like a terrible idea. Warning. Incoming bogey. Wait, what? Are those the drones we saw at that factory? No. See you on the ground. No. Wait. Enemy on my six. Oh, crap. Oh no. Cosette! Avril, they're headed this way. Get the refugees to safety now. Strider 2, you're hit. Are you alright? I think we just lost Cosette. I won't be flying much longer, though. There's an ocean carrier a few kilometers to the west. It ran aground and was abandoned. It won't be easy, but it's the only place you got. Trigger, escort your wingman. Let's get to that carrier. Okay. That's all we can do. Did we... I think we just lost her. Trigger, can you hear me? I somehow managed to land. It's your turn now. So what are we looking at? Oh my god. Like... To we're not done. Doing just fine, thank you. You're on course. Looking good, buddy. Fifteen hundred meters to carrier. Okay, there it is. I was having trouble actually seeing the runway for a second there. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned. This runway is very short. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We got got it. Okay. Yeah, fixing these planes so we can leave. Uh, did Cosette make it? Like, that's kind of important to me. I actually want to know. Did Cosette make it? Don't do this to me, game. It looks like it's going to be a lot of targets destroyed. I'm not hearing... Okay, it doesn't sound like there's actually any uh, voice over here. Holy crap, that's a lot of funds. I guess let's move on. Uh, we are having... Flashbacks, apparently. So what? Hell, I can't just snap my fingers and make a plane. Believe me, I wish I could. Right now, we needed one. Bad. So what's going on now? I'm, I'm confused. When we were coming over on the boat, I remember seeing an aircraft carrier. That gave me an idea. And what's the idea? The Admiral Anderson. The name of an old sailor. Okay. I'm so confused. started attacking, this ship wasn't ready for battle yet. It was still in the dock, getting all rigged up. And now it's beached, so like... they rushed to get her ready. I know about Anderson. In the previous Ocean War, he was the commander of a ship that sent out the last fleet of jets. I'm so confused as to the they point the of this. The deck was sloping so bad as it sank, the last plane barely made it off. Those fighters ended the war. Isn't the war done? That story gives me a little bit of hope, especially at a time. Like I know there's two drones left, but we're all in the same boat, like it or not. If this war keeps going on like it is, it'll be the end of. Are we? Is it still going on? Is that what you're telling me? The military loaded this thing to the rafters with planes. Some were fighters that were going to be delivered to bases in occupied territory. Like, how is the war still going on? It was hit before it could complete the mission. Jackpot. 
The yep. hangers were loaded with goodies. Planes everywhere. This scrap queen's got work to do. I I I've missed there th I I I don't understand what's going on. We blew up the big ass thing. Trigger, everyone, listen up. Okay. The operation was a success. Right. Erosion defense forces have been neutralized. Yep. All arsenal birds are down. Because we're awesome, yes. However, those two new drones buzzing around have royally screwed up our plans. The Ocean and Erosian Coalition's air forces are in a sorry state thanks to them. Apparently they're very good. We might not even have any viable aircraft. According to the Scrap Queen, the drones are trying to use the space elevator's transmission capabilities to send their data to drone manufacturing plants across the continent. That would suck. They're trying to strengthen their numbers. So we have AI gone wild. Their data contains a depth of war experience, so the newer aircraft will be more tactically advanced. If that's the case, this war will never end. Okay, so what's the plan? We need to take both drones down no matter what it takes. Got it. We'll do it. So we have homes to go back to. Can do. Well, the Scrap Queen's on our side. She says she can make any aircraft fly. Mm-hmm. This is our final mission. Okay. Ready? Let's go. We've got a goddamn war to end. Sounds good. I'm all about that. Okay. Let's go to mission prep. We got two enemies to take out. Step one. I have shit tons of money to spend. Let's start here. Give ourselves a sexy new bird that unfortunately will be grounded. We have a really good aircraft. I don't really need anything else, but this one looks pretty. Yes, I'm aware. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. That's fine. I'm only trying to unlock this. And the things that follow. Because I think we're going to need all the help we can get to knock those guys out of the sky. Okay, keep going, keep going. But we're not going to be able to afford the raft, the raptor. I can tell you that. Got a new emblem and a new nickname. Damage recovery, huh? Legitimately, I could probably use that. Okay, so where does that put me? So how much do I have right now? 319, uh, I guess, still can't afford, I, this is still locked, like, I don't get it, okay, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna unlock the Su-33, It is such a weird looking plane. I don't know. Which more importantly unlocks a couple more options for us, uh, which I cannot afford. So, oh well. This thing has real guns. Good to know. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, let's talk about our parts real quick. Superior maneuverability. So I think we're gonna drop Light Blisk for superior maneuverability. Uh, don't need that, thank you. So standard missile limit. Standard missile limit. Standard missile reload time. Standard missile homing. Because I'll be honest, I don't really trust the special missiles against these things. Uh, 
Okay. I think this is the best that we can possibly be. Let's go shoot us down some drones. No, no, no. Not squadron. The others can stay home. I don't want them getting shot down over this shit. Like, not as if, you know, there's going to be any choice in the matter there. You know that we're going to lose half our half of our team. I love that they like my plane is the one that they are doing in this cutscene. That is just the coolest. Can I use this? Hey, can you hear me? Yep. I'm right here. That craft is in peak condition. Damn right. I appreciate that. I appreciate the mechanics are saluting me. When you get back, let me know what you saw. <laughs> let me see that. Trigger, wish I could have flown with you. I think a plane and an injured pilot would only slow you down. I feel for him now. Let's do it. I love that they just call me three strikes now. <laughs> like trigger isn't even isn't even the thing anymore. Oh yeah. He's the one who took off just now. In that sexy stealth plane. So is my team with me? Yeah, well let's look for him. There they are. Commence mission. All aircraft follow trigger. Roger that. Understood. All right, cool. Whoa! Lasers right off the get-go, huh? Having a little bit of trouble because of the sky. Just flying straight into glare here. Oh god. Oh no, we already lost one. You're not wrong. Oh, got hit. Damn, these things are fast. What's this thing up to? Dude, you got nothing. You don't have a lock. That's fine. Where are you? Can you stop hitting me with that fucking laser? God, that's irritating. Oh, we got a hit. Got a hit. Done. Ha ha! We got one. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Just 
Come on. Bitch, you are going down. Two hits. Now you don't get to do that. God damn it, we're losing people. What's they? There's only one left. And it's done. No, we're done. The mission's over. Why is the timer not stopping? Uh... Son of a bitch. What is that? Was that fi- Ah, come on. I've beaten you once, bitch. I can beat you again. Good luck with that. We're going to shoot it down. I have no concerns about that. Absolutely not. Come on, you. Done. Get wrecked. Now the timer's done. Dude, I can't wait until you tell your son about this. Oh, that's scary. Sounds good. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, okay. There's still one drone left. Of course there is. Who the hell is that? More importantly, I thought Trigger destroyed all the drones. It's thrown away its wings, yet it's still flying. Where is it? Can anyone hear me? That aircraft needs to be taken care of. She's right. I see something on the radar. The UAV is alive and kicking. Where is it? Oh crap, it's going to residential? The UAV went into the undersea tunnel. <laughs> oh god. Are we doing one of those? Trigger, you're gonna have to fly into the tunnel after the UAV. Okay. Count, please don't die for this. Don't worry. I learned something from my last squadron. Caution. Caution. Stick with Trigger, and you'll make it. Caution. Pull up. Count. 
count. Give me your status. Alive. Excellent. So you're both okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What makes you think that? No time to explain. The radio will cut out soon. It'll take a short time for the drone to send over the data. You need to destroy it as fast as you can. Crap. Good luck, Count. Is he still with me? I can't tell. Oh, come on! Come on! Are we seriously doing this Star Fox shit? Really? This is how you're doing this. Apparently we're doing this. So how's Count getting in if I'm barely getting in? Apparently his ass is right behind me. Uh, yes. Oh my god. This is Star Fox. Okay, which door? <laughs> we're not stopping, by the way. We're, we're, we're going until I get this. Uh, I cannot believe that I actually hit the wall like that. That's just from not knowing how wide my, uh, my plane is. I don't know how possible this would be without, like, a joystick. This feels stupid. Okay, I think we're just going to be maintaining this speed. I don't think I can actually catch up to it. Also, how is there this much room down here? And it's gone. Okay, so it's the middle one, right? Okay. We're doing fine. Just damn, this is I'm glad we don't have to turn too much. Which one's it gonna be? Now the sides are already closed. Can you somehow crash? I'm glad to hear that, but apparently it's behind me now. Now would be a good time to just stop, Count. So is it behind me? So landing would be a good thing now, buddy.
Got it. Um. Apparently, you. What? Oh, I get it. You get it? it? What? Yeah, you have to kill everything. I didn't realize that. So, where's my checkpoint? Right in here? Drone is turning. It'll send its payload. Shoot it down, trigger. Ow. Let me turn. It's down. Repeaters. Yeah. Oh god, okay, we got it. Many times 17 seconds. Yes. That's right. We're going home. I thought of a way out of here. How? The space elevator. Uh is hollow, and there's no ceiling all the way up. You're kidding me. Okay. I wanted to wait until I had less fuel, but I have no choice. Attempting to land. I don't think my plane will make it. Please don't fail. Anyway, here goes. I'd appreciate it if you didn't fail. Come on, baby, stay with me just a bit more. You can do it. This is obnoxious. Come on, we can do it. Is that it? Is that the end? Is that it? That's it! Beacon of fucking light it is! We did it! He's in there. We'll find him. Wish y'all could have seen that. There he is. You damn fool. What's your position? I think he just got a girlfriend. Watching trigger climb. I guess it's my fate to watch from down below. We yeah, did it. We're all in the same boat there. Shut down all the experimental aircraft. Flew through tunnels because, you know. Give us your coordinates. Directly under the space elevator. Elevation is minus 500 meters. You just have fun down there. Hey, Trigger. You dumbass. Tell me something. Yeah, what can I do for you? What color is the sky up there? Deep, deep blue. We're on our way back from our seven year mission to the asteroid belt. I can't tell you how proud I am to be the first to land at the Wait, what was that transmission? This is Captain K. Nagase of the spaceship Pilgrim One. Hmm, apparently there was more to the story. Apparently, there was more going on. To the pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The human uh, lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. Where's your spaceship docking? And now, at last, we have a gateway to ascend to it, over and over again. It's all coming together for me. Today was the day, the moment of her return. Oh, you guys knew about I this. The pilot who gave us all a future. Damn right. Oh, come on, get me in my formation. Come on. Come on, there's space for me right there, right where I belong. Yeah! Hell yes. To skies unknown, the path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Granddad. Ah, oh, you're not so pissed off at him after all, huh? 
We did it! The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. Very cool. A humanitarian mission from Yuktuvania airdropped some supplies for them again today. So, is there going to be a place for them to be anywhere sometime soon? Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. And the space elevator is not destroyed. Also Maybe good. The relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka. Ah, that sucks. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. That sucks. We lost so many cool people. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Mihai. Which is kind of cool. That cranky old geezer's here with us. Yes! He didn't die. I wanted to create anything, and now here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves. I don't know why. I didn't like this guy to begin with, but you know. I don't know about that. Not so sure about all of that. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old age. I don't think he feels the same way. What those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. Apparently there will be a lot. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. Congratulations to her. She can build the other 15 space elevators. Dark blue. To the heavens and beyond. I wonder, is she walking okay now? There better be a statue of my plane somewhere in that space elevator. Hmm. I like it. Can I? wonder what that was all about at the very end there. That was very kind of almost creepy. But the princess survived too. That's always awesome. Interesting music for a closing sequence. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down because I do not want them to yell at me for kind of ID matching. So I have... Always been a fan of flight games. Uh, back in, you know, games like Halo, it was always a big deal when we could, uh, me and my best friend Mitch, when we could get ourselves into the Banshees and fly around. He uh, he was the big flying guy uh, back in the day, and he got me into it. His dad owns, or at least did own, his own little, like, Cessna. Uh, we played hours and hours of... Microsoft Flight Simulator back in the day, and we didn't. It wasn't even combat simulation. It was we would just get ourselves into a you know Boeing 737 and take off and do you know a uh, flight from Colorado to Louisiana and back again uh, when we were very very young kids. So he kind of put the uh, flying bug into me, and you know it's always been this fun thing. And the problem is there's not a lot of flight simulators anymore. Not like this. And there's a lot of freedom to be able to kind of fly around and uh, and do stuff like that. So I was really excited hearing this game was coming out. And it took a while for the game to actually end up releasing. I've been waiting for it for, what, two years uh, since its original announcement? Kind of hoping. Uh, we still have, you know... We still have the the uh, VR stuff coming, uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. And there's going to be DLC in the future too, uh, so there's going to be a lot to do there. Uh, Mitch unfortunately does not have the game yet, but I'm hoping he will be convinced to pick it up for the PS4. Um, he's going to pick it up for the PC, and I'll probably pick it up for the PC. But uh, I'm hoping he'll pick it up for the PS4, and that way he and I can just go flying together. Uh, we did do that once upon a time back with Ace Combat Six on uh, the 360. And uh, we flew circles around people, like him and me against the world. It was it was the most glorious thing of all time. And I really want to do it again. So yeah, he put the flying bug into me, and I kind of... Even though I'm not the biggest flying person, uh, I, you know, I don't know, I don't really know the terminology, and I don't really know how to do it well. 
But uh, I really definitely enjoy games like this. Uh, you know, also the, the space-based ones too, things like uh, X3, and uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I hear X4 is good. Um, you know, are definitely extremely up my alley. Uh, you know, really, really definitely enjoy them. So this was a lot of fun. Uh, you can, you better believe that I'll be playing offline, going back and trying to get highest ranks and all the missions and unlock all of the, uh, all the medals. Uh, I don't know necessarily if I'm going to record all that. I do want to unlock some of the aces. Uh, so that way, uh, I can show you guys kind of what, what goes into that because you have to do specific things. Uh, sometimes they're obvious, sometimes they aren't. You kind of kind of see them on the uh, on the unlock menu. So I want to do that. Uh, I also want to see about unlocking some of these other uh, vehicles. And then usually, I don't know if they're going to do it here, but usually there's a new game plus mode where you get to go through on a harder difficulty, but you get to keep all of your, uh, all of your, you know, all your planes. And I'm looking forward to that. I'd love to do some of those earlier missions with these, you know, stupidly powerful planes. It was one of my favorite things in Ace Combat 6, was you got the, I think it was called the Nosferatu, this stupidly powerful uh, aircraft that had these gigantic, amazing, like, missile pods that shot 16 high-powered, super maneuverable missiles in one blast, and you would just clear a swath through the skies for you to fly through, uh, and the game was, uh, you know, a lot simpler... <laughs> It was it was it was quite it was quite fun. It's also very maneuverable, very very fast plane. Uh, so I'm kind of curious if we're going to be seeing something similar to that in this uh, once everything is said and done. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, you know, multiplayer is going to be fun. I don't know how much I'll do uh, because I am just not good. Uh, you know, I might be able to comp stomp, but that's about it. So I'm really looking forward to see what multiplayer has in store, but I don't know how much that I'm going to do. I'm looking forward to seeing what the DLC is going to be. Chances are probably just a bunch of a uh, Probably just a bunch of extra planes, but I'm hoping we'll be seeing some new scenarios. Uh, some more, um, you know, maybe some more storyline or something like that. Uh, some, you know, maybe uh, maybe a space mission or something like that I could see them doing. Uh, lots of fun stuff that I'm really looking forward to. But this has been an absolutely excellent experience playing this game. And uh, I think, you know, even more so... Uh, doing it with, with a joystick. Like, I don't think this would have been half as fun doing this with a controller. Having a joystick, having the throttle, uh, kind of getting used to how, you know, used to how to fly, basically. It was different from what I remember it being, but kind of once I got in, into the groove, it was a lot easier. Uh, still having that, still having that moment where I got to kind of understand where, uh, you know, where, where the surroundings of my plane are to allow me to do some more uh, some more stupid things. And uh, I need to actually fly better in some cases. You know, see if I can get those uh, those damageless uh, attempts in. And uh, especially with those gun upgrades, we can see, see if I can do the machine gun only run. And that's going to be stupid. You just know. Okay, game, you got anything else for me as we pre prepare to close out? Any last minute surprises? So, trophy earned, reaching new heights. Trophy earned, what a wonderful world. Kind of curious what those are. Uh, I don't really feel, feel like looking it up. So, how did I do? Ooh, got an A. And a gigantic reward, too. A's not bad. I don't know how high it goes up, but uh, A is certainly not bad. It took me 13 minutes to do that? Really? Huh. We got all the mage skins. We got all the spare skins. We got all the strider skins. We got one or more new emblems. We can now change aircraft skins in campaign mode. We can now change aircraft emblems in campaign mode. A new aircraft has been unlocked in the aircraft tree. I'm assuming this is the super aircraft. Uh, see, there, there's that. Okay, so what? So I think complete from where I left off. 
Oh, if you want to do this again. Okay, I understand. Um, yeah, they're, they're saved data, but it's... Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I really actually do not have any intention of doing that again right now. Um, what I do want to see is what the aircraft tree says. So what is... Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Did we... We still haven't unlocked that. So, once you unlock literally every other aircraft, you get to unlock the Strike Weaver. Which is... This is the, the plane that uh, Mr. X, that Mihai was running. And it has an electromagnetic launcher. And a long-range airship missile. Oh my god. But I mean... Just to get that, don't I have to unlock... This thing? Oh my god, look at all of these upgrades. Oh, these, oh, these are all multiplayer. Okay. Interesting. Okay, these are all upgrades. Well, that's very cool. Gonna go ahead and quit this mission, though. Okay, so. Uh, I, no, I don't care. So let's kind of take a look real quick. So, campaign data. So... Sortie count, 21 sorties, 14 inviters. We have flown a total of 7,000 kilometers. There's an achievement for doing so many more uh, kilometers. Kind of cool. Keeps track of all of uh, all the ones that you did, how many times you try each one. Your kill count. Accumulated data. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Campaign medals. So you destroyed... So a thousand hostiles gets you bronze one. So we're going to have to do a lot more to get even higher. And then each of these are is for doing something else. Wow. Gonna have to go figure out what those are. Then there's the assault records. So, in order to unlock this ace, we have to take down a large number of enemy forces at the same time in Operation Deerhorn, which I'm assuming is the first operation. Um, and Operation Daredevil is the final mission. Pass through the Valley Strip in Operation Werewolf. That's the night mission. Destroy the missile defense system in Operation Giant Step. Huh. So yeah, I'll have to see if I see about doing those. Don't have to do multiplayer yet. Haven't done the VR yet. We can also have it a look at our aircraft, watch the movies. There's a lot of good movies. Listen to the music. A lot of music. I, uh, kind of want to get myself the soundtrack. I still have absolutely no idea what's up with the titles. Sorted by yourself in a team. Customize your aircraft set to use in battle. Select an aircraft set when you're sorting. If you wish to use your favorite aircraft as a weapon, you will need to register an aircraft set in the hangar first. You may lose two points for causing damage and taking out an enemy aircraft during combat. Higher scoring players will be indicated by one or more symbols. The more okay, so it's 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 giant killer. Okay. Temporarily taking away from the combat area for repairs. You may sort of once again your aircraft have been fixed. Feature the logic unit of the players during battle by sending preset messages. Yeah. Of course, microphones. Increase your rank. So I only get that that new aircraft once you hit airman first class good to know 
and you get a performance evaluations. So I still don't know what's up with the titles. I'll have to figure that out. And then we definitely want to go do those uh, VR missions, but that's going to be in the future. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate you all. I'm looking forward to continue doing at least a little bit more of Ace Combat 7. I'll see you all next time.